Watching 3D TV is great fun, isn't it? It seems like we're there, that we're taking part in the scene. It can seem like we're really watching real life, but actually it's not quite the same as watching things in a natural environment. And our eyes can have some discomfort, and there are several reasons for this. One is because maybe we don't like wearing the glasses so much, and the second one is because of the way the producer has made the program, but the third one is because we're actually asking our mind to do something that it normally doesn't do. So imagine that I'm looking at this natural object here. My two eyes see slightly different pictures because they're spaced apart. And the first thing that happens is that my mind tells my eyes to point towards the object. And the second thing, my mind tells my eyes to focus on it so that it's in sharp focus in my eyes. These are the two steps, point to the object and focus on it. Those are the two features of natural vision. Imagine, if you will, that this is a television screen and we're watching a normal 2D program. Well, in this case, we just see one image of the giraffe here on the screen, like that. Now, if this was a 3D TV and we were watching a 3D TV program, on the screen there would actually be two giraffes, one for each eye. One might be here and another one might be here. And these are superimposed at the same time on the screen and these glasses ensure that the right eye sees the right one of these giraffes. Let's bring in the eyes and see what happens. One of our eyes is looking at this giraffe because of the glasses and the other eye is looking at this giraffe because of the glasses. Now the images that the eyes have are passed to the brain and as far as the brain is concerned what it sees is exactly the same as it would see if there was really a real object here. So as far as the mind is concerned there is an object forward of the screen though it doesn't really exist there. Now the two things that we have to do when we look at things are point and focus. The pointing is okay, the eyes are pointing at this imagined object. Then the eyes turn to focusing and they try to focus on this object but it can't be done because there's actually nothing there to focus on. In order to get sharp pictures on the eyes they have to focus back here to the TV screen. In other words they have to separate the pointing and the focusing and this is the main trick that 3D TV has that we have to separate pointing and focusing and it's not something that we do normally and naturally and that's why you may feel some eye discomfort when you watch 3D TV. So 3D TV is almost like but not exactly like natural vision and some people say that you can learn this business of separating pointing and focusing over time just like learning to ride a bicycle or playing a piano but whether you find it easy or difficult do remember that it's better if after a while when you're watching you take off the glasses to give your mind a bit of a holiday and don't forget to watch from as far back as you can because this will help focusing. Now will we ever have a system where we can focus and point at the same time? Yes we will. This is for the future. This is what a hologram does but I'm afraid it's some 20 years away from us now. I'm afraid for the moment we just have to stick with these glasses.